cool little story for you guys about these. I just left Walgreens and I feel like I robbed the place because I kind of did. So I went to my local Walgreens and I ended up finding some of these celebration tins, one of the Sylveons and some of the Charizard. They're hiding up on the top shelf. So, you know, I had to take a peek and I was very lucky enough to find these. Unfortunately, they didn't have a price. I wasn't sure how much they were. So I asked one of the employees and he didn't know. He went and scanned it. It didn't have a price in the system at all. I said, hey, like they're all out on your shelves and I'm trying to buy a few of these. Like, what can you do? I ended up speaking to the manager and the manager seemed completely oblivious to what was going on with Pokemon, obviously. And she just said, we don't have a price. Sorry, it's not in our system. I said, well, I'm trying to buy. And she said, I kid you not. How about $10 for them? $10 each? Sure. Do whatever you want. That's fine with me. Retail price of $30 on freaking eBay for like 40. So needless to say, I ended up going to the front desk, buying all the ones they had in stock. And this is what I ended up with. I got seven of these tins, all $10 a piece. Holy frick. I think I got a good deal. And that's how it went. That's how I got a crazy good deal at Walgreens. That was a short you just watched from my channel a few weeks ago. I actually do shorts daily on the channel alongside my unboxings, usually on Wednesday and Sunday. So if you enjoy that type of content and like doing just quick pack openings on shorts or cool little stories, you're gonna wanna subscribe and stay tuned for those daily. That being said, I had seven of these things and I guaranteed my one friend to get two of them because he was looking for the tins as well. So I kept five and another little story to go along with this because as you can see, I just have four here. It's been a long, long time since I've actually just opened up a pack off camera. It's been like a year and a half, two years since I've actually opened a single pack just off camera for myself. So I decided one night, you know what? I'm gonna open one of these tins and hopefully I don't get anything too crazy and I can just enjoy some pack opening, opening by myself. And if you know any YouTubers that do unboxings and pack openings, they say that's like the one mistake you can make is because as soon as you open up something off camera, that's when you get the good pulls. And us over here at YouTube, we like the good pulls on camera. It makes for good views, makes for good content. And uh, yeah, I think you can kind of tell where this story is going. So to start, I got a Darkness Ablaze pack in there and a Chilling Rain pack. And then of course we got our other little celebration packs that we all know and love. So I start with the Darkness Ablaze. I'll, say, I'll take it easy. I'll start with Darkness Ablaze. There's nothing really good in that set. There's only one card that's worth any value. It's like a $50 card. It's the only thing in the set people go for. And that would be the first thing I pulled, a Charizard VMAX. Yeah. That was my first pack I pulled of this tin. It was crazy. So uh, I was already worried. I was already like, crap, I may have made a terrible mistake. Although I'm loving this mistake, uh, even though I'm not getting it on camera. Charizard VMAX, Darkness of Place. Then I open up Chilling Rain and I get a Galarian Articuno V. Now guaranteed, it's not like the most craziest of pulls, but it's still a V card and it was still pretty insane to just get that. And then we go into the actual tin itself. Of course we get the Lance's Charizard in the tins or we get the Dark Sylveon. This was the Charizard V tin, so of course I got that. I start opening up my Pokemon Celebrations. I get a nice reprint, here comes Team Rocket. And I say, okay, you know, that's fine. It's a nice reprint, but it's nothing too crazy, nothing too crazy. And then I get a Blastoise in the next pack. A Blastoise, crazy good hit. It's like a $20, $25 card, something like that. I haven't even pulled them yet. And I go into the next pack. Oh, I think behind it, I had a surfing Pikachu in there or something, you know, which is fine. It's one of the more common of the V cards, I guess you could say. Next pack, Luxray X. Oh my gosh, it's like crazy. I haven't had this one either, but these reprints would just kept coming. These pa these packs wouldn't stop. I, I tell you what, it was crazy because then I got Tapu Lele GX. Uh, in the next pack. I, at this point, I was like, there's just no way. There's no way we can keep topping stuff, right? Uh, well, we'd be wrong because then I pull Mewtwo EX. I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable first 10. First time in like two years opening something off camera. I thought it was a funny story and I wanted to showcase the cards I pulled from my other 10. So we've got four of them here to open up and hopefully luck is on our side and we continue that good streak of awesome tins. So let's start opening these bad boys. These tins are super cool and this plastic is gonna be super loud, I guarantee it. We're gonna rip into these things and just bang through these packs. So of course we got our nice Lance's Charizard right here on top. We're not too worried about that. We've seen it a few times before. And then we've got, oh yeah, we actually had six of these packs. That's what I was confused about, not four. We had six celebrations and then two extra. So we got Darkness Ablaze again and we got a Chilling Rain. So fingers crossed, we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna start with Darkness Ablaze because there's no way that we get like a crazy good pull again on this one, right? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So let's open it up and let's find out. Come on, all right. 
let's just go like this. We'll give you guys a little code card upside down. And we'll go one, two, three to the four to the front. Bang with our energy first, our Eridos, our familiar bell, our Rose Tower, Gothita, Nickit, and then we got Shelmet, Lavatar, Grimer, Phoebus Reverse. It looks a little faded behind it. Okay, it's not another VMAX Charizard, so that's fine. <laughs> I would be pretty surprising if we got two of those in a row. We'll come back to Chilling Rain, but let's crack into these celebration packs because I still need to find myself a Charizard. I'm actually missing one of the uh, cards from just the main set, which is hilarious. Palkia, we got a Cosmone, oh, and then, oh, <laughs> Shining Magic Garb. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're on a heater here, guys. We're on a heater, I swear. All right, that is this is one of the reprints ones that I really want to get outside of Charizard. It's just a sweet card. It's Shining Magic Carb. Come on, how could you not want it? Behind it, yes! Zamazenta V. This is the card that I needed out of all the packs I've already opened. This is the one card I didn't freaking have. I don't know how I didn't get them, but I just didn't. So now I have the complete 25 base set of the celebrations and now it's just on to all the cool reprints oh uh, you know what i take that back i take that completely back i am missing one more i was missing two how, how foolish of me i'm still missing the golden mew we still gotta find the golden mew here but shining magic card is a great start let me tell you so let's get into the next one here i actually gotta zoom it in a little bit for you guys there we go all right so let's see here that one has like a weird crease on it. You see that? That's not good. Uh-oh, it feels a little damaged. Cosmog, and then behind it we got Kyogre. No crazy, oh, that was the reprint. Oh, I miscounted, my bad. Lunia, and yeah, that was it. Not a great pack. Let's do one more, and then we'll jump over to Chilling Rain and get that out of the way, and we'll keep cruising through these tins. We got a Cosmog right here, a Reshiram, and a Zekrom, <laughs> come on. This card is so sick. Oh man, this is, I'm so glad I got this one. This one is phenomenally awesome. And in the right lighting, you can't even like see this guy, it's crazy. My friend sent me a picture of his and it just looked like worse than this, like this is pretty bad, but you like, he had it in just the right lighting where you couldn't see anything on the card besides the holographics. So pretty nuts. Behind it, professor's research, that's fine. All right, uh, I just went straight into a, another one of the celebrations because I was very excited. So I guess we'll do chilling right after this one <laughs> since I forgot I was doing that. Here comes Steam Rocket again. All right, this is like the third one I've gotten of this. So nothing too crazy and a surfing Pikachu. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. All right, we got our chilling room. Let's open this bad boy up. See what we can find in here. Maybe we can get something good out of the chilling rain. Code card upside down for you guys. And a one, two, three, four, bang. Boom, energy. We got the Hatchroom, we got the Larion, we got the Steeny, Golet, whatever Porygon, Croaky, Mareep, Rockruff, a Welcome Lantern, a Reverse, and behind it, nothing good. It's a Tassarina non foil. All right, next celebrations. We got two more for this tin, and we'll keep on going into the next one. So let's get this all squared up a little bit. Try not to show anything. Dalga on top. A Zekrom next, and then we got Yvalto. Let's see what's on the end. It's a nice little classic Pikachu. We're not gonna complain about the nice fat Pikachu. It's pretty good. Last one for this tin, and what will we find? Wow, that one was like all spaced out. I don't know if we spoiled anything on that. Xerneas on top though. A Lugia, and then a Dalga, and then a Selegio, Leo, Leo. It's not that great. Next tin, we're going for the Dark Sylveon one. Let's get into this one here. I'm gonna start doing the peeling of this plastic off camera, I think, now because that's loud. All right, opening it up, we got our Dark Sylveon V. Very, very cool, but again, we're looking at these packs. So, what do we got in this one? Chilling Rain, Darkness Ablaze again. Well, we're gonna start with the Darkness Ablaze. Let's get into it here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can get the goods. Upside down code card. All right, I think I saw a flash of something, honestly, guys. So uh, we might have gotten something decent. Don't know if it's crazy good, but we got a Clang, a Gothrika, whatever, Skarmy, a Chubchu, a Wimpod, a Bumblebee, Toxel, a Vanilla-ish Reverse, and then we've got Bang, Scizor V, a very nice looking card. A not too bad of a V card, but I'm sure it's not worth anything too crazy. I'll take it, it's a V card, all right? We will save Chilling Rain again, you know, we're gonna keep cracking into these celebrations and go for a Golden Mew or a Charizard. You know, we already hit the Shining Magikarp, 
So we're good on that point. I think, uh, what's the other one that we really want to get from this set? I can't remember, but I'm seeing something pretty crazy. I saw some kind of holographic on the reprint slot. So, Kyogre, bang, Tapu Lele GX again. Let's freaking go. That's awesome. This is a pretty decent one to get. I think it's like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. So, I'm not going to complain. And a Mew behind it, too. Let's go. A Mew and a Tapu Lele. That's nice. Next one. Let's keep cruising through here. Open this bad boy up. A Yavalt Tilt straight up on top here. We've got a Cosmog, and let's see what we got in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. scared me for a second there, Reshiram. Behind it, Professor Research, not a good one. I'm just gonna get Chilling Rain out of the way now before I forget, all right? So we're gonna go like this. Upside down code card for you guys. Gotta make it a little bit challenging, you know? One, two, three, four. Bang, boom, flip, energy. Karen's Conviction, Echoing Horn. Piercing Scroll, Snow Run, Quillfish, Heracross, Cast Form, Saphiel, Heracross again, and then we got this guy. Oh, that was oh that was a reverse. I couldn't even tell that was a reverse. It didn't like shine at all. Nothing good. That's all right. We're here for the celebration packs, you know. We're not here for the chilling rain right now, but oh boy, don't want to spoil anything in that. I don't know what slot that red card was in, but let's see. Okay, it was in this one. All right, all right, all right. All right. Woo, Rockets Admin reprint card. I don't have this one. Very nice. I don't think it's anything too crazy, but that's nice. Alunia behind it. Very cool. Next up, we're going to pop into this one like a madman, I guess. That like just wrecked my world here. All right, we're flipping. We're doing crap. You vault till we got a Xerneas, and then we've got, bang, Dalga. No reprint in this one. And a Mew, though. Ooh, double Mew in this one. Let's go. I'll keep taking the Mews. I would rather have a golden Mew, you know what I mean? But whatever. Mews are, are fine. They're a cool card. It's one of the better ones out of the set outside, like, the crazy rares that you can get. So let's see what we got in this. We got Xerneas on top. I see black border on the end, so that's not looking good for our golden Mew. Dalga. Oh, oh, it was a Professor Research. Let's go. Oh, I saw this. Oh, I saw the code card. Nice. I've got like four of him now, but I'll take it because he's an awesome looking trainer card. Bang into the last one for the Dark Sylveon tin. Let's see what Dalga is going to present us with next. We've got Zekrom and then we've got Bang Blastoise again. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I know it's a double up of what I have, but this is such a cool classic one to get, you know? And then we got a flying Pikachu V at the end too, which is awesome. That's fantastic. Not bad, not bad. Another tin down, two more to go. Let's go back to Charizard. All right, I took the plastic off. We got our Lance's Charizard V. Very cool. Let's keep going through these packs. All right, we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna get these both out of the way right now. We're gonna start with Chilling Rain. We're gonna switch it up. We're not doing Darkness of Blaze first. We're gonna go straight to this one and get this one out of the way. So there's a code card. Let's put the four to the front and say Sayonara to all these other cards that we don't care about. Old Cemetery, Slowpoke, Weedle, Clobopus, Amaripi, Veraltzi, and then we got Impact Energy Reverse behind it, Ampharos, nothing, non-foil. Darkness Ablaze, let's see what you can present us with in this one, eh? Eh? All right, come on, let's see. Square up, code card, and then four, two, day front. Let's go. Right back into it. Nurturing, Combusky, Starvia, Rowlets, Wishy Washy, Q Font, Sinistee, Phoebeus. We got a Core of a Knight Reverse. And then we've got, oh, a Copper Jaw Rare Hollow. Very cool, very cool. Not probably worth anything, though. All right, with those packs out of the way, let's get back into the celebrating with a Palkia. I've got so many Palkias, it's ridiculous. Cosmo. And then we've got a Cleffa. Nice reprint. Let's go. That's awesome. Don't have this one. Add it to the collection. Knock it off the list. And a Lunia behind it. Code card. Bang. Next one that we're going to peel into weirdly. I don't know. I don't know how I'm peeling into these so weirdly. We got a Xerneas though. That's fine. A Grodon. And then we got behind it. Dark Gyarados. Oh my gosh. This is the fourth Dark Gyarados I've gotten. I've gotten him so many times it's ridiculous. He might as well be a common card with another Mew. With another Mew. Not bad. Not bad. What is that? Our third Mew? Come on. Where's our Charizard? Where's our Golden Mew? That's what I want to know, you know? That's like, those are just, I mean, just the Golden Mew so I can complete the main set would be awesome because it looks phenomenal. But we just got Zamazenta, you know? That's all it's going to provide us with, Zamazenta. Still got a few more packs though, you know? You never know what we will find in here. All right, let's keep going. Cosmog, 
we got Kagri, and then we got Bang, Xerneas, not great, not great, not great. Oh, Mew, oh my gosh, Mews are just popping off today, holy crap. Next one, uh, let's go. Here it is, here it is, we got a Lugia, a nice Lugia, we got a Ho-Ho, and then we got Bang. Ah, uh, no, nothing good, Palkia, and then the Zycan V, uh, which I've got four of as well now, I think. <laughs> Boom, bang, and we get into the pack if we can. Oh my gosh, what, what is happening? Okay, wow, wow, wow. Reshiram, and then we've got a Zekrom, and then we've got nothing good. It's a Cosmo, and then behind it we got a Professor Research. Nice, a nice Professor Researchy boy. Very good. The final tin, Dark Sylveon. Please give us something great. All right, there it is. There she is, Dark Sylveon V. Stack it over here with the rest of our stuff. And let's get into the rest of these packs. All right, Darkness Boys, let's get you out of the way. All right, I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to have to deal with these packs any longer. Come on, let's see. Unless you give me something good, then maybe I'll, you know, commit to opening Chilling Rain right now. And we'll just take our luck at that one. We got a Corviknight, a Lunatone, Struggle Gloves, Purloin, a Starly, a Ron Ron, and then we got, oh, we passed a couple, but we got a Darmaku, whatever, reverse, and behind it, Agron. A very nice hollow, very cool. Break it, we're just doing Chillin' Rain. I'm not gonna be bothered. Let's go. Let's get it out of the way, code card. Four to the front, bang, bang, bang. I said I really wouldn't do that anymore, but. You know, maybe I only do the for the front if I've just got a couple of these packs, you know what I mean? Let's feel, if I got a whole box, we're just cranking through it. I don't care. Coughing, is that a reverse? Yeah, holy crap, that's a terrible reverse. Look at, you can't, dang, that's terrible. All right, the final six packs of the celebration from these tins. I do have another trainer box, and I've got a couple of Pikachu things. I might open those up on the stream, though. Uh, you might want to subscribe and stay tuned for that, unless I already did it, which I might have, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoy these, I may end up getting more if I don't get what I want here, so who knows? I shouldn't, though. I really shouldn't. We got a Ho-Ho, no reprint, and a Pikachu, though. Nice Pikachu. Fine by me. Next, let's go pop this one open. This one's going to be weird again. We got to just slide it out nice and careful here. All right. Kyogre, that's fine. We got a Reshiram, fine. But we also got Evolve Tilt. That's not, that's not great. But a Surfing Pikachu VMAX. I'll take him. I've only got one of him. It is a duplicate, but you know, he's a big old fat VMAX boy. So I'll take him. I'll take him. Come on. Come on. We're running out of packs here. We got to do better than this. We got to do better than this. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Reshiram. Greet us with something fantastic. Zekrom, what do you got behind you? Just a Dahlia. Okay. And another Mew. Oh, the Mews are taunting me now. Bang. Let's get into the next here and pull out Palkia. Very fine with me. Okay, what do we got behind it? A Cosmog and a Gyarados Dark again! Five of these? Are you kidding me? Can I like convert all my Dark Gyaradoses into a Charizard or something at this point? Like, holy crap. A Surfing Pikachu. I always get like a Surfing Pikachu after the Dark Gyarados, I feel like. These packs might be a little stacked. I don't know. Dark Gyarados was like the one card that I really wanted to get out of the reprints. And uh, yeah, I, I got them. I got them for sure. Uh, I think I saw a flash of a reprint holographic. So let's see. Lugia. And then we got, bang! Luxray. Let's go. I'll take another Luxray. Good five bucker or something like that. But a nice little reprint card with the me. Oh my gosh, these Mews, man. These Mews are going to kill me, man. Oh my gosh. One final pack. That's it for these tins. Let's see what we can find. Come on. Open up. Give me the goods. Give me something good. The Volto's sitting pretty right here. Come on, let's see. Bang, Cosmog. What do we got in the reprint slot? Oh, Reshiram, Reshiram, and a, oh, it was a, ter it was a terrible final pack. Dang. Some pulls of the day. Now I know I complained a lot, but we actually did do really well. We got some really nice reprints. Of course, we got our double Dark Gyarados, which, you know, is just crazy at this point. But we did get a Cleffa, which is new to my collection. A very nice Cleffa. A Blastoise is a double up for me, but good card, good card. Luxury, another double up, but a dope card. I'm not going to complain. Tapu Lele is a strong card to get in the reprint set, I feel like. So very good GX card. And then, of course, we got Zekrom. Zekrom looks sick, man. Very happy with this pull. And then our big hitter of the day is the Shining Magikarp. It is right up there with the Charizard. 
got some good value and I'm very happy I got this one. So awesome, awesome stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed too. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I open up a lot of different products from We Cross to Force and Will to Magic the Gathering. And like I mentioned, we do those shorts every day with little pack openings of all different types of products. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. But if you made it all the way to the end, thank you very much. Stay tuned for more openings and we'll see you in the next video.